The perfecto, as in the perfect season, that's what the Carroll girls tennis squad is aiming for. The Chargers are undefeated and beat Leo in the sectional final to advance to regionals against rival Homestead. And we're proud to honor the Carroll girls tennis squad as your Optimum Performance Sports Team of the Week. I'm Jason Russell from Optimum Performance Sports. Ops is proud to sponsor this week's Team of the Week. Congrats on your victory. You are the new standard. We're out here at Carroll High School and the Chargers girls tennis team. They are undefeated this season and they're moving on to regionals. Joined by head coach Kyle Stoffel. And uh, what's the key to the success so far this year? Uh, key to the success is all the hard work these girls have put in over the last several years. Um, we've got a lot of depth on this team, whether we went at one singles or two doubles. Um, so far they've always found a way to get our three points that we need and oftentimes it's been all five and, and a lot of that's attributed to the depth. Uh, it's been a special season so far, obviously, the zero and the loss column. What do you guys want to accomplish the rest of this year? Yeah, it would be great to keep that zero there the rest of the year. Um, there will be some challenges coming up with the Homestead tomorrow in the Regional and Cathedral at Semi-State and uh, beyond would be even more challenging, I'm sure. But yeah, if that zero stays there, that would be amazing. This team is loose and they like to have some fun, but how much do you have to make sure they lock in a little bit? They understand the balance, I think, pretty well. So honestly, very rarely do I ever have to say, come on, let's settle down and dial in. They usually do it on their own because I think they want this just as much as what, just as much or more even than I do. For the challenge, well, we're going to make them hit it all the way across the court, and it's a little rainy outside. So we got them inside here in the basketball court, the alumni gym. So we have them here on the free throw line. They're hitting all the way down to the other free throw line where our uh, laundry basket is played. So uh, we're just going to try to hit it and try to make it in there. All right, so Mia, you're up first. Go. Uh, it's a little long, right in the reserve team. Coming back. Here we go. Next one's up. Oh, it's easy. Oh, a little long. We're not getting that close. Come on. We're going to have to time lapse this thing. See, we should have pushed him back. That's all right. Keep going. Keep going. Somebody's going to make one. All right, next one. Down the line. Here we go. Oh, right off the edge. Here goes Stoffel's trying. Oh, that's, oh, here you go, trade you. No, we're trading you, get the mic, here you go. Yeah, I go first. <laughs> God, it's a little long. That's okay, though. Here we go. We got another ball, here we go. There you go. Oh, yes, just like we're talking about, yeah. So obviously that was challenging. Yeah, that was very challenging. What do you guys want to accomplish in regionals? A little more than that, maybe not four tries to get it in, but I think at regionals we just, want to stay on top and do what we did earlier in the season. We've played these teams before and it hasn't been too challenging. So I think if we can keep up the work that we have been doing, we'll be set. How do you lock in? Well, usually that's Lauren's job. I'm not the most focused person, so she always has to tell me to settle down and stop like looking at the birds and like I always watch other people's points. So she's she's my focus. All right. Congrats to the Carol girls tennis team, your team of the week. And that'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.